Good morning, friends, and welcome to Saturday, August 19th. Esther Knopfsinger will start us with Great is Thy Faithfulness. Saturday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by R. Sidwell Mugutu. And our scripture reading is Romans 11, 29-32. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable, just as you were once disobedient to God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience. So they have now been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Some Christians who gather for Holy Communion regularly confess with the liturgical words of the Anglican prayer of humble access. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord whose character is always to have mercy. The gathered believers acknowledge their sinfulness and unworthiness. This prayer is said like a sacramental password of humility that grants the unmerited community of faith permission to partake in this holy mystery. The key is to their participation lies in the character of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the host of this sacrament. It is that mercy that Paul taught the church in Rome. No one merits God's love, but all receive it. God's mercy is the forgiveness that saves us from the wrath, the anger and deserved punishment from God. It is the character of mercy that changes our status from sinners to saints. We have fallen, but keep receiving forgiveness. We are fallen and sinful creatures, and yet God extends mercy to us. The scripture tells us time and again that God's mercy endures forever, and God's mercy does not expire, but is forever available to all. This mercy is the steadfast and limitless saving love of God that is available to eternity. Even generations yet to be born have that mercy paid for forward for them. They are shareholders of this great, mysterious gift. Let us pray. O oh, merciful God, may your enduring mercy be upon leaders of governments and organizations and all who have the power to transform and to heal this world. Amen. Our closing hymn is All My Hope is Firmly Grounded. Thank you.